Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. I'm Kawaja. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by Kawaja, our patron for some CEDH. Kawaja's been supporting us for a long time, and now that they've been at the $100 level for a year, we're super happy to have them on the show. Happy to be here. This video is brought to you in part by Dragon Shield. Use code PLAYTOWIN5 at the affiliate link down below for 5% off to help support the show. And check us out on Patreon to support us directly and get some awesome extra perks. So we have Nate on Pant Laza, Cam's playing Nimrus, I'm on Tim Natana Blood Pod, and Kawaja's on Ming Skimbu. Lemmy Wink's adventure begins. Begin! Good luck, have fun, Nate. Start us off. Go for turn. Box diamond, reaching stopping ground. And a secret boundary tapped, and I'll pass. I'll get a draw. Pay two life to get probe Dylan. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I get a draw off of that. You gonna tell us what he's got? Uh, nah. I'm gonna play this Lotus Petal. Verdant Catacombs as my land. Pass. Draw card. Mana Confluence, lose a life, and cast Deafening Silence. Pass my turn. Draw Forest, Wild Growth, targeting said Forest. Upkeep, I will draw Marsh Blats. Okay. Going to 39, a Savannah, and I'll play Allosaurus Shepherd. I'll pass. At the end of your turn, I'm going to crack my Verdant Catacombs to 37. Tap to Watery Grave. Draw for turn. I will play Ancient Tomb as my land. I will pass. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Bad lands. I'm going to tap the Mana Confluence, lose a life, and cast Llanowar Elves. Pass my turn. Untap, upkeep. Draw. Play Corpusian Forest. They go. Untap. Of keep. I will draw. A pester. End step. Dark Ritual. I will lose two. Crack Petal for a blue. And leave one black floating. Cast Nimrus. At this point, I am actually kind of worried because I do have a woody foot here. So when he does do Dark Rit, I'm instantly thinking crap i'm gonna be set back to the stone age for no reason honestly i was just i wanted to make sure that you saw the deafening silence i didn't want you to cast something big with a dark ritual and sacrificing lotus petal and you like forgot about the deafening silence i was like trying to point like you remember and you're like no guys i got it you know yeah. you know what it's you're doing just nimrus <laughs> yeah. that's all it is while i'm at it i'll use this cycle this lorian revealed underground seed in my hand Go to my turn, get a draw. Mm -hmm. I'll play this underground C, pass turn. Untap, draw card. I will play Command Tower as my land for turn. Cast Mana Crypt, black, white, and floating a colorless, I'm gonna cast Timna. I'll go to combat, the colors will go away. Kawaja, thanks for supporting us and being on this show here. I'll attack you for one. Yep. Timna's trigger on the stack. I would like to lose two life going down to 33 and put no Ocean Thief on the stack, triggering Nimrus. I will bin a Swamp. Timna trigger resolves. You get it with No Ocean Thief. Cool, thank you. Main two, I got no effects. Fast turn. Draw. Play Wooded Foothills for land for turn. I'll fetch. 38, hitting a Taiga, pass, Minsk and Boo. I will find a token that will represent the hamster. I'll uptick, making the hamster 4-4. Four, four. I will swing with the hamster and pass the turn. So the reason why I'm not swinging is no one's representing any Adnaz decks, so their life totals don't matter as much, though the one ring does exist, so life totals do matter. But with Timna having attackers and a Notion Thief and Nimrus, just be better not to poke at anybody so hard right now. That definitely makes sense. I think standing back as a blocker is great right now. It's exactly what you need to do. Especially when we can come back at your minx really good. The zombie will represent the hamster. Draw for turn. I'll pass the turn again. In your end step, I have effects. I'm going to lose the life and sword supply for an ocean thief. Ah, okay. Yes. Go up to 36. Me too. I go down to 36. At least it replaced itself. I do want to say it does seem a little bit aggressive for me to get rid of the notion thief here when I know it stops. Minx can boost so much because you're, a lot of what you're trying to do is draw big chunks of cards. But I also would like to draw cards. I feel like I need to play this deck like a tempo deck and I need to make sure that I'm still progressing forward. So that's a shame. I, I kind of have to. All right, go to my turn. I will get a draw. Play a Cephalid Colosseum. I'll lose two life, go down to 34, cast a Demir Signet. Well, I think I'm going to disrespect Minx and Boo a little bit and pass the turn. <laughs> All right. I'm fine with that. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, Mana Crypt. I'm going to roll it in here so it doesn't go anywhere. Odds will take damage. Evens, no damage. Draw for turn. Plateau is my land for turn. Nate, I'll attack yes. you with a Tim Tim. Timna. Tim Tim. Tim Tim. Tim Tim. <laughs> Tim Tim. Tim Tim. Yeah, I will take it. That sounds like if Tim was a Pokemon, the sound it would make. Like Pika Pika. Yeah. Tim Tim. Tim. Yeah. Tim Tim. Definitely. I'm going to gain two and then main two. I will lose one and draw card. Floating one, I will cast Mayhem Devil. Floating one, you will cast Mayhem Devil. Floating one, I will cast Mayhem Devil. How much are you floating? One. One. One, one mana? 
One mana, one mana? yeah, floating one mana. Mana. Oh, <laughs> and what did you cast? Mayhem Devil. Huh. I'm still confused. That this was is great. This is a great episode because I think after we just start like going crazy as the episode goes on and on. Wait, wait, wait. How much were you floating? How one, much? one mana, okay. just one. <laughs> Okay, Mayhem Devil's here. I already attacked this turn, and I'm not even going to cast a non-creature spell. Pass turn. I would like to cast a non-creature spell. Fuck. Lose a life. One, two, three, four, five, six. The perfect amount to dig through time. Ooh, woof. Nimrus trigger real quick here. Hmm, I'll keep a card, and I'll put Dolphy Voidwalker in my bin, and then dig through time. Let's take a look at seven. These two. And that was a nice two mana draw three on an end step. That's all that I have to say. Great, still pass. Whee! I would like to go to combat the man that drew three. Would you kindly take four? Attention to the man who just drew three cards. Oh, me? You're talking yeah, to oh, me? You. Technically, none of those cards said draw a card on them, so. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. fair. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> I'll put Nimrus in front of it. You sure? Because it has. Yeah, Pamela. dude, I am. I am sure. I vote. It's a, a one six button that I have here. I can activate Minskin Boo and throw it at it too after combat. Well, you're in the middle of combat. Who says you're even dealing damage to my creature, first of all? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, this is gonna look really foolish in a second. I'm going to cast Snap, targeting your little hamster there, triggering Nimrus. Okay. Bin Mind Break Trap and keep this card. How do you feel about Snap, Kwaja? I, when you remove all the token, I'm fine with that. Oh, nice. I get to un tap two lands. Snap is busted. All right, so this seems a little bit aggressive, and I've actually played some Minx and Boo on Arena since then, so I know how the minus ability works a little bit better. If I wanted to do this optimally, I would have let this damage hit. I would have made Kawaja use the minus ability, and then sacrificing is not a part of the cost. So it's gonna look to see what creatures in play when he activates the ability, and if I snap in response to the Planeswalker minus, he's got no creatures, and it's gonna counter the ability already and I'll be able to keep my Nimrus. So uh, half the reason why I did this was to get the Nimrus trigger, which I'm going to get anyway, but totally could have done this a much safer route if I would have done that instead. Go to post combat, play City of Traders. Uh, X equals five. Don't probably need it to be five, but it is what it is. Oh, whoa. Uh, green Suns. I'll put Teamer. And then this gets shuffled back in. All up, tick. The Planeswalker. Targeting nothing in single. So it is Teamer. It is a combo piece, and I pretty much have the numbers, but primarily why I got Teamer. The main reason was A, a blocker, but B, to draw other removal or a board wipe so the hamster can roam free. Got it. So it was really the Teamer of Sabertooth is like a lightning rod. You just wanted to attract some removal so you could connect with the hamster. Yeah. I'm an insane person that would use a combo piece as a distraction. So there you go. Play Emergence Zone for my land for turn. And I still think it's a good idea to pass. Cool. Go to my turn. It's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> draw card. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack Minx and Boo for one. Okay. Play City of Brass as my land. Lose two life. Colorless, black, blue. Cast Toxic Deluge, X equals three. One, two, three. Putting me down to 28. Blue to green. Yeah. Yeah. I will pass the turn. Well, what do you know? It fucking worked. <laughs> Before my green mana goes away, I'm going to flash in a village bell ringer. Lose a life off of mana confluence. Go to my turn. Yeah. Untap, yep. upkeep, mana crypt. Odds will take damage. Evens, no damage. Draw card. Cast Soul Ring. Cast Timna. Go to combat. Attack Cameron for a one. Take it. Lose a life and draw a card. Didn't mean to. Play Gemstone Caverns as land for turn and pass. I'm going to do an end step thing. Cast Brainstorm. Trigger Nimrus. I'll bin this Mana Vault and then draw three. Put back two, I think. You may continue. Whee! Untap, upkeep. I get a hamster. Draw. I will uptick. Make hamster a 4-4. Four -four. Cameron, would you kindly? I don't know if I'll kindly. Kindly, Cameron, kindly. Cameron, do it aggressively. <laughs> Nah, because you can just sacrifice it. Well, this is the time to make you not be able to draw a ton of cards. Cast I, a can't sa I, I can't sacrifice Oh, because you already yeah. did it anyway. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to take the damage. Look at all these. One, two, three lands deal me damage. I'm, I'm like, I, I'm still okay with you using that on a token. Yeah. So yeah. Deadly Rollick trigger Nimrus. I'll bend Cursed Totem. I'm happy to see that go. Post combat for the birds. After that, single. Untap. Okay, but I will draw. I'm going to play Runic Armasaur. Pass turn. I will go to my turn. Draw a card. Clearwater Pathway as my land for turn. I'll pay two mana for a 
phantasmal image. I don't know how good this is, but I want runic armasaur. That's it for me. I will pass. Cast L Darmy's calling your end step. It'll lose a life off of mana confluence. I'm gonna find Shieldred, the apocalypse. Put in my hand and then go to my turn. So I was just gonna find a Kiki Jiki. That was the original plan. But then when two runic armasaurs popped up, I decided that maybe we should deviate and go a different route. Yeah, like runic armasaur is one of those cards that either does a lot or does nothing. It's like carpet of flowers. It's either changes the game or it's dead. Yeah. You know, honestly, this is like two weeks in a row, though, that it's pulling way too much weight. Uh, yeah, I'm choosing to not let my Runic Armor Store opponent draw all that cards. <laughs> I'll untap. I have a Mana Crypt trigger. Odds I take damage. Odds, that's a damage. Draw a card. I'll lose a life off of Mana Confluence and put Shieldred on the stack. I'm gonna tap it like this. Go to combat. Kawaja, I'll come yeah. at you with Village Bill Ranger and Timna. Yeah, I'll take three. I will gain two with Timna, and then I will lose one life and draw one card, and when I do, Shieldred triggers, and I'll gain two. Life. That's it. I'll pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, lose two life. I'm at 33. Oh, yeah, upkeep. I get another hamster. I'm going to uptick a camster. 4-4. Four, four. There you go. Unless, does somebody want to remove said hamster? No, not this yeah. time. I know that's been my MO, but now I like the hamster. I <laughs> Shield your trigger when you draw. Take two. Yep, I will take two. And then I will play Hinder Wall. We will pass. Go to mine. Untap, upkeep, draw, lose two, 25. Galdin Tarn. I'll cast a Gilded Drake. ETB trigger will target Shieldred the Apocalypse. I'll respond to the trigger, and I'll flash in Solitude, hard cast mode. In response to the Solitude, I'll cast Force of Will, pitching Flusterstorm, losing a life. That happens, it is countered. Gilded Drake trigger on the stack. I will cast Beast within targeting Shieldred the Apocalypse. Oh yes, nice. I will get a Beast. Sucks that Shieldred's dead, but at least you don't have the Shieldred, because that'd be way worse. I really <laughs> wish I would have have it here, but I do like your use of Beast Within Quadra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm going to crack this fetch to 23 to go get an island and then pass the turn. All right, going to my turn. Here we go. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt, odds it take damage, no damage, draw a card. I'm going to hard cast Fury. I have four damage to split up. I'm going to target one at the Phantasmal Image copy one at the Birds of Paradise, and two at Minx and Boo. Respond with that by tapping a green. Phantasmal image triggers and it sacrifices. So my question is, are we playing CDH or are we playing modern at this point? I know, I'm glad a lot of my interesting spicy includes are making their appearance in this episode, but I think they're all doing like pretty good. They're doing kind of what I wanted them to do. The idea is that you have this er interaction that you can use early on for free if you need to, but when the game starts stalling out, when it gets to like turn seven like it is right now, you have like reasonable threats. I don't know, so far they seem okay. Well, no, I don't disagree. It's just like, am I playing, is this scam? You just can't play it in modern anymore. So. Yeah, exactly. I got to play it here. Go to the combat step. The Beast and the Timna are coming at Cameron. I will block the Beast and take two. I'm going to gain two. My second main, I'm going to lose one life. Draw a card. Pass. On to upkeep. Draw. I'll down tick Minsk and Boo. Chuck it at Timna. Timna's been chucked at. Right, I'll draw four cards. Blasphemous act. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. I'm going to sack the inner wall for two red. I'm okay with it too. Blasphemous act is a very casual card that a lot of you may notice. Reason why I play it is, especially as the meta gets more mid-range, it becomes more creature heavy, and it becomes easier killing Tivits, Kinnons, Kroms, and everything else with just that amount of damage. And also, after you do Blasphemous and Vandal Blast people, it's kind of funny. It kind of makes sense when your commander's a Planeswalker. You need a couple extra ways to like, just like make sure your commander can stick around. And I, Boo's coming back every yeah. turn. Boo too. comes yeah. back, so it, it's kind of perfect. I think it's a great include here. Yavi Maya, Cradle of Growth, City Sacks itself. I will go to discard, discard, mutable. I'm tap. Upkeep, I will draw. I'm going to cast Heliod and pass turn. On your end step. I'll make blue, black, and then five. I can make a green because of Yavi Maya and not lose life. Three, four, five, still lose three. Cast Nimrus. She's back. Go to my turn. Good to draw. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, mana crypts. Odds will take damage. It's an even number. I will not take damage from the even number that I rolled. And I will draw a card. How many cards do you have in hand, Cameron? I have four cards in hand. Loading one, I'll cast Demonic Tutor. How many cards in your hand, Dylan? I have three. Fuck it.
Cast Sire of Insanity. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, oh, crap. Lose yeah. another life, and I will cast Elves of Deep Shadow. I'll quickly move to end step. Pass, 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 I'll, 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 I got some <laughs> stuff. Uh, uh, With the trigger on the end step, then, yes, I have many things I'd like to do. I will cast a Fairy Mastermind now in response. I get a Numbers trigger. I'll put Jake's in the bin here, and I'll keep this one here in hand. Channel Autowara targeting your big dude there, Dylan. Sire of Insanity, sure. Yes, Sire of Insanity. Back to hand. That's all I have then. I don't want the trigger to resolve yet. Cast Path to Exile on your Fairy Master Prime. Ooh, okay. I'll go get a Swamp. Now, if we're discarding, we're discarding. It's abrupt to K, Sire of Insanity. Haze of Rays, Rite of Flame, Godo, which I was one short, Gatter, Mutagenic, Jessica's, and Twin Flame. Quadra, your hand was stacked. <laughs> he just drew four cards. This is the main reason I wanted to do this. Well, 100%. If it came on my turn, I, I was about to go to for days. At this point, I've actually taken Sire of Insanity out for Rurikthar. Even though the Sire of Insanity didn't like do its intent and you did kind of remove it with the trigger on the stack, it still did a ton of damage. It was more than enough for me to be happy with at this point. Kind of makes me think that maybe I should go from Rurikthar back to Sire of Insanity. Why not both? Why not? Hmm, two six drops. Hmm, two six drops. There's an idea. Idea. That's an idea that I'm liking a lot. I have Squee, Ephemerate, Imperial Recruiter, Worldly Tutor, and Get Lost. I have Mystic Remora, Fierce Guardianship, and Tainted Pack. Cool. Go ahead. Untap. Get a hamster. Draw. Uptick the hamster, making it a 4-4. Four, four. Pass sneak attack. Oh boy. Good thing we got rid of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll say go. Untap. Upkeep. I will draw. Cloud some Curio. And then I'll pass. Get to draw. I will pass. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt. Odds will take damage. It's an odd number. I will take three. I will draw for turn. Pass to Timna. Put a combat. Nate will get you for one. Yep. Main two, lose life and draw card. That's it. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Uptick. Make this goddamn a seven. Cameron, I'm swinging in a seven seven at you. Yeah, I'll take it. Down to 11. That was for Shepard. Thank you. Untap. Upkeep. I will draw. Pass turn. End step. I'm going to crack my Cephalid Coliseum. Draw three, discard three. One, two, three. Discard. Manamo, Opal, Mental Misstep. Move to my turn. Get a draw. Tap this for a green. Thanks to the Alphamayo. Pass the one ring. In protection. Pass. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Odds will take damage. Odd. Draw card. Go to combat. I'll send Timna at Kawaja and Elves of Deep Shadow at Nate. I'll take two. I'll take one. And then I will gain two and then lose two. My second main phase. Arid Mesa as my land for turn. Pass Tana. Pass turn. Whee! Draw. Go to combat. I'm going to swing my 7 7 at Dylan. Yeah, I'll take it. Post combat. I would like to activate Minsk and Boo. I'll activate the one ring in response. Bonds real quick. You're good to continue. I'll uh, chuck it at Timna again. I'm going to cast Deflecting Swat, targeting the damage, and instead I will put seven damage at Kawaja. I'll send the damage right back at you. Okay. There is an argument that maybe I should have just sent this damage at your Minx and Boo rather than your face, but to be honest, we'll just recast it again, then you can like tick up it again and get another hamster or something like that. And I'm not going to attack it ever again anyway because I'm a Timna deck. I want to draw cards. So I feel like just like maybe racing you and just like put the damage at your face, maybe I can just deal damage to you that way. That's kind of my plan. That's actually smarter because sometimes the combo for Minsk and Boo requires Minsk and Boo dead. So if you kill Minsk and Boo and I draw the combo, you just enable it faster. Perfect. Intuition. Smart as fuck, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. Crack crown pathway as land for turn. They go with seven in hand. All right. Draw for turn and pass. Go to my turn. Lose one of my upkeep. Draw a card. Play this prismatic of this stuff. Draw two cards with the one ring study. That's all I'm good for in this world. I'll pass. <laughs> I'm gonna fetch this Arid Mesa in end step. Stomping ground tapped. Untap. Upkeep. Mana Crypt. Odds of take damage. A three. An odd number. Draw a card. Play Windswift. Teeth has land for turn. Crack it. Find Savannah. Go to combat. Tana is gonna come at Kawaja. Timna is gonna come at Nate. I'm taking two. I will flash an endurance. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, may I draw a card? I'll tap Taiga and say no. You're Graveyard on the bottom cam. Cool. You block in Tana? Yes. And Nate, you took two? Two. And I will gain two, and then main two, I will lose one life and draw a card. I'll cast Ranger Captain of Eos. May I draw a card? I'll pay with the soul ring so that you cannot. Floating one. Ranger Captain ETB. I'll go search. Mm -hmm. Find Esper Sentinel. Cast Esper Sentinel using the one extra from soul ring to pay for the Ristic study. I'll respond. Paying for Ristic, I'll cast for a Tutor. Gonna get Dockside. Yeah, buddy. That's yeah. all I have. Pass turn. Upkeep. I will 
don't draw. You get your, uh, you get a boo? Yes, as much as you guys probably don't want me to. Play Grove of the Burned Willows as land for turn. Dockside. I mean, I draw a card? No. Ten. This will represent treasures. No, put it on the big glare spot. Big glare spot. Uh, yeah, that's treasures. I'll crack six, paying for Esper and Rustic, so I have four. Cast Natural Order, Sacking Endurance as part of the cost. Xenagos. Xenagos. What the fuck? I'll uptick, make my Boo a 4-4. Four, four. I'm gonna go to combat. With Xenagos, I'm gonna target Boo, make it an 8-8 eight, eight, Trampler. I'm gonna swing my 8-8 eight, eight at you, Dylan, and I'll swing my Allosaurus at you, Cameron. Yeah, I'm well, getting low on life total, and I feel I need to do this. I'm going to fire off Assassin's Trophy, targeting your little man, the hamster. Yeah. I will pay for the Rhystic Study, floating one. I get a land, right? You do, a uh, basic land. I'll get a mountain, since I have Yavi. I am going to put my Nimbus in front of your thing. I'm just going to crack four treasures, tap two, make it a 6-6. Six, six. That makes it a 6-6, six, six, not a 5-5? Five, five. Oh, 5-5. Five, five. Oh, fuck me. I, I can't read. Oh, fuck me. Whoopsie. <laughs> a magic player's kryptonite is math and literacy. <laughs> makes it into right. a 5-5, five, five, not plus 5-5. Five, five. That is a little bit confusing. I'll say go. Up to draw. Having a really good game. I'll pass. I'm gonna go to my turn. I will lose two. Go down to eight. Get a draw. And I quote, God damn it. Let me draw. <laughs> I'm gonna draw three with the one ring. Let's see if there's anything good here. Crapola. We're so close to <laughs> something. Crapola. <laughs> Thank you. Green, cast a, a wish claw talisman. Oh my god. Yeah, I draw a card. Pay for it. I will pass. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Odds I take damage from the mana crypt. It's an odd number. I will take three. Draw for turn. Go to combat step. Nate, I'll hit you with Timna. Cam, I'm going to come at you with the 3 3 Ranger Captain and the Elves of Deep Shadow. I'll block the 3 3. Take one. And then I will gain two. And then main two. I will lose two and draw two cards. I'm going to play Scalding Tarnas Land for turn. I'm going to cast Invasion of Ikoria. X equals five. May I draw a card? I'll pay one so that you may not. What you getting, dude? I'll let you know the moment it resolves. <laughs> X equals five has to be too big. I will cast Delay, targeting Invasion, triggering Nimrus. I have an Esper Sentinel trigger. I will let you have that one. Draw a card. Here's my Nimrus trigger. I'll bend this Arcane Signet. Yep, that's great. It gets countered with three Delay counters on it. Still then, I will cast... With two mana here, uh, collect roof. Good thing I got oh. rid of little fucking treasures. <laughs> That's yeah. it. I'll pass my turn. One tap. Upkeep. You know the song and dance. Get a hamster and draw. Hey, why am I paying for risk it? I will uptick, making hamster a 4-4. Four, four. I'll target the hamster with Xenagos' ability. I'll swing the 8-8 eight, eight at Dylan. I'm going to double block. I'll take five. Post combat. So my main reasoning, even though Cameron is demiring and Thoracle out of nowhere, I just got a whiff or somehow an instinct that that ranger captain is protection for a win attempt soon. That's why I'm like hammering more on Dylan. When he blocked with the oof, that told me like, oh crap. I, even though I just played the oof, it is a little bit of a tell that anytime the blood pot player blocks with the oof, it probably means one, they're either terrified of dying and I, have, I am at low life total, so that could mean that, but it could also mean that birthing pot is near and i think kawaja was smelling that <laughs> yeah half a green i'll exile wish claw talisman it's gone and i gain to win the haymire your turn nate one tap up he i will draw and i'll pass this is when i have to try to do something end step chain of vapor targeting the deafening silence trigger nimrus get rid of an op i'll tap mana confluence for a green and cast veil of summer in response may i draw a card i will tap scalding tarn for green to pay for it nice i'll draw a card off veil of summer on my turn Turn then I lose three. Draw four cards. We like this. We love it. We love it. Yep. I'll play Emergence Zone as my land. Cast a Felwar Stone. Go to end step. I do have to discard. I'll get rid of this Bloodstained Mire. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt. Odds I take damage. A two, nice. thank God. No damage. Draw card. Sacrifice Ranger Captain Vias. Glad you're first. Any effects? I, I have no effects in gruel. Oh, no. This removes the thing. I really only have one card that is useful against him, but I don't. it doesn't do anything right now. Do you want to do anything that maybe help me get more answers with my Rhystic study? Yeah, I guess I could do that. I'm going to pay two life, and I'll put the Chain of Vapor back on the top of your library. I think that's the best I can do. May I draw a card? Yeah. So I'll get this card, and then Chain of Vapor goes back on top. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Can you make Cam draw a card? Like I can make him draw the vapor. I'll REB Nimbus. May I draw a card? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. I'll take that. In response to that, I will pay a black and a blue. I will cast Orcish Bowmaster, triggering Nimrus. I will bin a land. Upon ETB, I think no one has a way to draw another card for me to get another damage, right? Yes, I can. But you have to get rid of the deafening silence. I can't cast any more spells. I have to get rid of the deafening silence. Okay. I do have a spell that I'm going to cast to target Timna to get rid of it. If you get rid of the deafening silence. The main reason they're trying to get rid of the Timna is any of the birthing pod-esque lines like Vivian or anything like that require a three drop in play in order to begin the chain. So we need to set him back on that creature and then we'll be okay. Yes. Well said. You know? <laughs> and, in, unless. Great. I will do Dylan's face if that's the case with that ETP damage. Now you're saying that I also have to cast Chain mm -hmm. of Vapor targeting the Deafening Silence then. But I'm going to do it in a bit of a weird way. I'm going to cast Chain of Vapor targeting the One Ring. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yep. yep. I will copy it, sacrificing this land here, and I will target the Deafening Silence. It's bounced. Do you continue the chain, Dylan? Oh, yeah. no, I don't. Red okay. Blast on the stack. I'm going to swords the Timna. May I draw a card? Yep. I will gain two. Red Blast Red is still blast. going. Major Captain ability resolves. Cast Goblin Sharpshooter. Oh, you just have a three drop anyway. <laughs> may I draw? I'm going to pay tapping with the Yavamaya so that you may not draw. Three mana and uh, Phyrexian. Cast Birthing Pod. You can draw. Pay two. Sacrifice Goblin Sharpshooter. So I'll go search. Find Felidar Guardian. Felidar Guardian comes in. I'll ETB. I'll flicker the Birthing Pod. Tap this for a green with the Yavamaya and pay two more life. Activate Pod to sacrifice the Felidar. Karmic Guide. I'm having a mental breakdown right now. Find Karmic Guide. ETB. Reanimate the Felidar Guardian. Felidar oh. Guardian comes in and flickers the Birthing Pod. Activate one last time. Spending the full two mana here, sacrificing the Felidar Guardian. Look for Kikijiki. Tap Kikijiki to make a copy of Karmic Guide. Karmic Guide ETBs brings back the Felidar Guardian. Felidar mm -hmm. Guardian flickers Kikijiki. Tap Kikijiki to make a copy of Felidar Guardian. Untap the Kiki and present a loop. Good show. Make one billion cats. I love cats. Uh, attack you all with them? Yep. We're way dead. Oh, shit. What a fucking yeah. wild game. Took me 13 turns, but we finally got there. I was patient. <laughs> I waited for as long as possible. I get the most protected, the most backed up win I could get. Finally did it. Blood Pod wins games. It's also helpful that there was only one blue black deck at the table there. Yeah, also true. And Nate didn't play basically any magic that game. Those were helpful, I will be honest. To be fair, he is the reason why you didn't win like turn three, turn four. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly or be in your own episode like Kawaja, you can do so at our $100 tier on Patreon like our other $100 patrons. Bark Cyrillo, Alan but in lowercase, she doesn't even go here. Soul Cal Acura, Stormageddon, Luke Cook, AJ Alpha Sabi, Demon of Rosgrees, Uncle Butts, Kuwaja A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you want to find any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Huge shout out to Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link down below and use code PLAYTOWIN5 for 5% off your order. You can follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much. No, you, Fuck. Took, you took his line. Fuck! The audience doesn't know whose lines they are. If I say them, they're my line. Thanks for watching. See, See you, you next, next time. time. And if you did our patron, Zachary Coulson, Alex Musselman, Tyler H, X Tyler the Tree X, Malcraft, Driving Crooner, Jabaha, Dalton Poteet, Mitchell Shepard, Justin, Man Solo, Pedro, Jacob Depp, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Thomas Bueno, and David Nelson. 10 out of 10. Whose turn is it right now? I'm so lost. Oh, also, I'm going to say it now before I forget. At some point, um, you asked me if I like rolled on my mana crypt and I can't remember, so I just take the damage. Yeah, I saw that. When I saw that, you rolled correctly. But I, I like, did roll correctly. Yeah, so I like at the end of the game, I'm stressing out really hard because I think it, it like comes down to like two life. But, oh my God, that did matter. Right, but I actually had like more life. It didn't actually matter, and I cut out every single time that I mentioned my life total afterwards because of it, and it just it works out. No one needs to know. Um, but I was kind of playing around as if like I was about to die. Grab <laughs> <laughs>